Hey guys, Adam here, back from uh, Northern Automotive. Today we're going to talk about the 2017 Ram 1500 SLT. Now you can see this isn't stock. Uh, a few things have changed. Uh, I've had this truck for give or take a couple months, and I've kind of threw a lot of money in it, so that I'd be really happy with it. And I am. This is it's come along a long way. So we're going to talk about uh, five mods you can do. Some are affordable, some are not that can really change the appearance and the performance of your vehicle. So up front here, we're gonna talk about wheels and tires. Now we have 33 by 12.5 wide, uh, 17 inch rim Nitto mud grapplers. So they're mud tires, so they're super knobby, super aggressive. Uh, they whine a lot when you're driving, but they're beautiful. I love them. They're really, really uh, has a good look. Plus the sidewall is beautiful. The, uh, the notches on that is, it's disgusting. It works great. Now the, uh, the rims are a Mickey Thompson Baja lock, not an actual beadlock, but a beadlock imitation. See how fucking dirty this shit is. They, uh, they're a 17 inch rim by nine inch wide with your standard five by five and a half inch bolt pattern for these Dodges. And uh, they work out really well. I love the way this looks. It's super aggressive. Uh, four and a half inch offset on these rims so it gives you just a wee bit of um, offset out from the uh, fender. So if you look here, it's about two, two and a half inches past the, uh, the box here, which is completely legal where we are here in Canada. You always, always got to keep those cops happy. All right, so mod number two, cheap one. The last one was a little more expensive. The wheels and tires, yeah, they uh, got a solid kidney for those, but cheap mod let's talk about headlight lightly tinted i got the tint off uh, vivid.com i think it was like 30 bucks for headlight tint to do both of these and this really beautiful light smoke they turned out really well and at night performance is about the same it hasn't really changed it it just kind of gets rid of that really shiny glossy stock headlight look so it's going to be tint for your headlights and or ta uh, taillights plus debadging of the side of the vehicle. Now I still have to do the back, but uh, I love the way it looks without the debadging and that's cheap. You can usually do this, both of these actually for just about under 50 bucks. Okay, mod three, we're gonna talk about bumpers. Now, not always the most affordable thing, but the what route I went is really affordable. We got these beautiful move bumpers and what move sells is a DIY kit that uh, essentially they give you a bunch of plates and you weld it up yourself and you finish it the way you want to finish it. Now, for the money that they're charging for these kits, it's, it's a no brainer. If you have access to a welder or a buddy with a welder or a shop that can weld things for you, it, uh, it makes perfect sense instead of spending $1,000 or $1,200 on a bumper. Front and back, now this is American to Canadian conversion, so I'm gonna give you the Canadian price front and back with shipping and taxes for front and rear bumper was 1600 bucks which is crazy for everybody everybody who's canadian knows that anything from the states for a bumper is usually 12 or 1600 bucks just for a front bumper so you get these kits like look how fucking dirty this thing is if it wasn't hotter than dick out i'd be fucking wash this thing but jesus christ it's like 28 or something like that 30 degrees and then it's like 35 with the humidity and if you're fat and used to snow, it sucks ass. But these bumpers came out great. All right, I'm gonna insert a few photos of us actually building this so you'll see the raw metal and the tacks. And that we had to do everything together. Now I coated this with a two-part epoxy uh, bed liner. Not the same deal that you would have in the back of your truck, like a spray-in Line-X or Rhino liner or something like that. This stuff was called Gator Guard, Napa sells it. And actually, I'm actually really surprised with the quality of this stuff. You can put it on nice so it comes, goes on smooth instead of having this textured look. I wanted the texture because I put it on really, really thick and it turned out really well. 
Now you can always go ahead and uh, paint these afterwards or do whatever you want to powder coat. But I kind of went for a cheaper route. Now for two containers of the, uh, the Gator Guard, I believe it was 300 bucks from Napa. Now if you want anything uh, from Move, I think they're based in Montana, but uh, you should definitely check out their websites. This truck is actually on their website right now. So if you want to go by and show them some support and uh, say that Northern Automotive sent you. Now for our fourth uh, mod for these uh, trucks or trucks in general, is uh, definitely a new grill. Now I'm going to leave a, a picture of this tr uh, truck when it was stock uh, up here wherever we decide to put it. But it had the chrome bumpers, the chrome grill, the chrome badging on the side and we kind of got rid of all that so I didn't want to keep the chrome bumper. So I went online and I got this uh, Mopar replacement uh, Ram front grill which actually looks fantastic. I love the way it looks. It was easy to install, just about a direct uh, fit back in. The only difference is down here in the corner, it's a little more square than the stock stuff, so it doesn't quite fit your stock bumper. But if you're okay with trimming your stock uh, plastic fascia, then by all means, go ahead. Our, th our fifth mod is actually doing something with the exhaust. Now, I straight piped the truck. Well, not really straight piped, but I took apart the stock exhaust. So the exhaust ends right about here, which is mostly legal. But it sounds fantastic. So three inch straight pipe Hemi, sounds fantastic. We'll uh, put a sound clip in from one of our previous videos. And of course, if you do it my way, that costs you nothing. But other exhausts in general, it makes it more aggressive. It makes everybody kind of look at you more of an attention whore, but it draws the attention. It gives you the recognition that you want for a truck like this, that you're putting your time and you're putting your effort in. That you really want to show all the hard work that you're putting into one of these. Honorary mention is a leveling kit for about $100. You can fix that stock rake on the Dodges, two and a half inches in the front and it really makes it look more aggressive. Okay guys, so that concludes our top five mods for the Ram 1500 or trucks in general. Let's just do a quick recap. It is wheels and tires, the debadging and tint, bumpers, front and rear, front grill, and exhaust. Now I'd love to see what you guys have rolling around there. Post some pictures, send us an email, we're really just starting out here. We want to get those views. We want to appeal to everybody. So no hate from anybody here. Let's see what you guys got going on. And I'd love to see that maybe we can feature you in a, in a future video. Thanks and have a good one. Hot as fuck. Jesus Christ. Hey, thanks for watching Northern Automotive. We appreciate you almost as much as donuts and strippers. Almost. I would say subscribe for more, but you already know that. Stay glazed.